Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to read Korean Hangul. So it's basically the letter system of Korean. It's very simple and easy. You can learn it very quickly if you study. It was designed to be made for common people to understand. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe. So the basics of a Korean word or a unit of a word is it starts with a consonant and it's followed by a vowel. So for instance, here we have a set of consonants and you add a vowel to them like this and then you have one word or a unit of a word. So simple position of letters, right? So you're probably thinking, how do you put the letters together to make a unit or a word of a unit? So here's one simple form. You start with a consonant, then you add a vowel and you put them together and that simply makes a word. And then also in the bottom part, there's a space for an optional consonant. So here, if we have the example ga or gang. So also there's one other format of the Korean word and it's a vertical format. So that depends on the vowel in the center. If it is an O or an U or a Yo or a U sound in the center, it goes vertically. So we start off with the exact same consonant from before the G sound. Then you add the O so it changes to vertically and then the exact same one in the bottom, which can make the words gong or go. So here you can see that a Korean word can have one block or more. For instance, this is the word dog or gay, and it has the word G plus the A sound. You combine them together, it's gay, and it means dog. That is one block. A word can be one block or more. So here is another example of a two block word, right? So you start with the N sound, then U, then the G sound, then U, and that makes Nugu which is who, and that's an example of a two-blocked unit word. There can also be more than two, three, four, five, maybe. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to read the consonants in alphabetical order. So what we start off here with is with a simple G sound, and what I made here is it looks like a gun, right? If you go like this, it looks like a gun, and it makes the G sound. So you can remember the gyuk is the G for gun. And here we have N for nose, right? So this is Nian, and it actually looks like a person's nose. Just bear with me here. I'm not the best drawer, but it looks like a person's nose. N sound. And here we have the D sound, and it looks like a door handle, right? So that's how you can remember this is the door handle, D, D. Now this one's a little bit more complicated because if it starts in the beginning of the block or word, it's more of an L sound. And when it's in the bottom spot, it's more of an R, but just very slightly. So in Korean, the L sound is more centered in the mouth. In English, you, when you make an R sound, your tongue is more in the back of your mouth, ra ra. And when you make an L sound, your tongue is more in the front of your mouth. But in this case, the Korean leel is a little bit more in the center, but it can shift forward or backwards depending on where the letter is in the word. And that's why some Korean people have difficulty pronouncing R's and L sounds. Now here is the M sound for map, very simple M, 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 and it looks like a map. Here we have B for bucket. It makes a B sound. And as you can see, it actually does look like a bucket too. If you make the handle right here, B for bucket. And here we have the S sound, simple S sound. And it looks like the summit of a mountain, right? Just imagine a mountain here. And that is S for mountain. Now here you have what looks like a circle and it's a little complicated as well because it has two unique sounds when it is the first consonant of a block it is silent and this is to allow the following vowel to be pronounced first in the word or sentence so this way you can pronounce all the vowels as the first letter of the word by using the silent o in the beginning and secondly when it's in the bottom it is an NG sound, ng, 
ng, right? So as you said, remember, gong and gang were the two examples I gave. Here we have J for jump, and bear with me guys, this is all I could come up with, but it looks like a person that is jumping up in the air. So you have to remember J for jump, and it's J sound. And here we have the CH sound for catcher, and I actually came up with this myself. If you look closely, it almost looks like the back catcher in a baseball game, right, with the mask on. So that's how I remember. CH is for catcher, ch, ch sound. And here we have the wine corker. So if you actually Google wine corker and images, you will see that some of them actually look exactly like this. And very conveniently, it has a C and a K, which this sound is a C or K in English because, as you know, they're both the same sound in English. And here we have the trident because it's a T sound, T, T, and it looks like a sideways trident. And here we have the podium, right? So P sound for podium. It looks like a very like a podium where somebody's standing and they're giving a speech, right, like this. And that's P for podium, P P sound. And here we have H for hat because it looks like it's a person wearing a hat. Now we're going to talk about some vowels, right? So our first one is very simple. It's just an A ah sound, A ah for apple. Secondly, we have the oo sound, right? So everybody knows that a cow goes moo, and it's exactly the same, oo, as in moo. So this is the a uh sound, right? And it's pronounced the same as an up. So remember, you need to open your mouth wide and pronounce, tense up your throat and pronounce it from the bottom of your throat. It's uh. So many people in English will confuse this for ah, uh, which is not an ah, uh, it's an uh. So it's very difficult to differentiate the sound, but they're, they are slightly different. And if you can't pronounce it properly, you'll have trouble being understood in Korean. So this one is very easy. It's just a simple O sound. I think everybody can pronounce that very easily. It's O. It looks just like the word O in English. Here we have yo, and it's pronounced just like that yo. And basically, it's the same as the English slang for yo. So here we have ya, which is pronounced exactly the same as ya. It's basically in English when somebody says, oh, do you want something? And you say, ya, yeah, it's exactly like that. And here we have you, which is pronounced exactly the same as the word you. And here we have ya, which is exactly the same as a, uh, but with a Y in front. So remember, you need to open up your mouth, tense up your throat, and pronounce it from the bottom of your throat with a Y at, at, the, at the beginning instead. So ya. Here we have two vowels. They're both a, and the first one's just a little bit shorter, a, and the second one is a little bit longer, a. So I think historically, people used to really differentiate the pronunciations of both of these. But now in common day Korean, they're almost the same. So, but technically the first one's a little bit shorter. The second one's a little bit longer. First one is a, eh, and the second one is a. Eh. Here we have e, which is for tree, very simple e sound. So this one is definitely the hardest one to pronounce. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, so don't get discouraged if it's hard for you at first. It just takes a little bit of practice. Uh, don't be afraid to go into the mirror and make some funny faces and make some weird noises. Nobody's going to judge you. So this is uh. So basically, if you want to pronounce this properly, you need to close your mouth just a little bit, open your mouth only a little bit, make sure it's very wide, kind of push your chin out a little bit, and pronounce it right from the bottom of the throat. It's uh. Uh, as in took, right, or took, and it's not exactly the same, but it's similar to took, as in uh. So once again, 
open your mouth just a little bit. Make sure your mouth is very wide. Put your chin out a little bit. Tense up your neck and uh. Actually, it's almost the same as when you kind of think something's gross in English and you go uh. So now we're actually going to read some words and practice reading. So the first one is saram, right? So you have the S A R A M, saram. Next we have Samsung, which I'm sure everybody is familiar with. It's the biggest company in Asia, and it's S A M S O N G. So Sam. Sung, which actually means three stars. Sam is three, and Sung is stars. Next, we have Hyundai or Hyundai. So in the English markets, uh, it's branded as Hyundai, but actually in the Korean origin of the word is Hyundai, which means modern in Korean. And it's okay if you pronounce it anyway. But I just thought you'd be curious to know how the original Korean word is pronounced. Next is cup. So many words in Korean are actually used from English words, right? So here we have the word, the English word cup, but actually in modern day Korean, this is used 100% by everybody. It's cup. There is a Korean word for cup, but it's no longer used. It's been uh, taken from English. It's cup. And you'll find that with many words. Some are exactly the same. Some of them are a little bit different. And some are completely taken out of context just for fun as a slang. Here we have namu, which is tree. Namu, n a m u, namu. And here's another one is bus, which is bus or bus. It's basically the same thing, and that is 100% used commonly in speech here in Korea. Lastly, we have the word for car. It's a little bit longer. It's three units. It's cha dong cha, cha dong cha car and we even have some more practice for you we have the word kimchi right i'm sure everybody knows kimchi it's the korean food it's fermented uh, cabbage with uh, pepper sauce we have the word for glass yuri glass yuri then we have the word for milk it's uyu so remember the f these are silent they are not pronounced it's just uyu and they're there to format and to keep consistency because every uh, block needs a consonant it's a silent consonant here we have another koreanized english word which is pizza it's pizza so everybody loves to eat pizza in korea and they put very interesting things on their pizza you should check it out next we have fire which is bur, fire bur, and soju. I'm sure many people are familiar with soju. It's a type of Korean rice wine, very common here in Korea. You can get a bottle for a little under a dollar, and every single convenience store sells them. And here we have dweji gukbap, which is a type of pork soup, very delicious. If you ever come to, to Korea, you should have some dweji gukbap and soju. So here is some more uh, practice for you. The first word is banana, which is very easy to pronounce, banana. Second, we have moon, which is the word for door. Then we have the word for ball, which is gong. So remember, when the, this is in the bottom, it's N-G, G-O-N-G, gong. And then we have sorry, which is sound or sounds, and don, which is money. Remember, this sound right here is a long O sound, so O, 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 not A, ah, it's O, Don, Sori, Gong. Make sure you pronounce long vowel O. And then here, remember this one, when it's in the first part of the word, is silent, so it's O, Yum. So in the next video, we're actually going to talk about harder subjects, so you should study up on this video. And we're going to talk about the bachim, so the bottom part of the Korean word or word of unit, and it can change depending on where, what letter is where, and the pronunciation can just differ a little bit. We're going to talk about complex vowel combinations, so there actually is some more. You can actually combine vowels together. For instance, e and e can make e or he, depending on how you pronounce it, and there's m multiple variations of complex vowel combinations or two vowels combined together. 
liaisons and reading practices. So the Batchim can actually move up to the next unit when there's a circle in the second block. Irregular pronunciations and more. So we're going to do some practice reading and then we're also going to talk about some irregular pronunciations. So this will be the advanced reading will be the next video. And if you like this, you can download it at koreacomplete.com. And if you like this video, please support and like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I hope you look forward to seeing the next video. Thanks. Goodbye.